Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a lovely card using the Carnation stamp set that has just been released by Altenew. This is one of uh, their uh, Build a Flower collection which are all gorgeous. They come in different layers where you stamp one on top of the other to create all the depth that you like, both for the flowers as well as for the leaves. And there are also matching sentiments. Now there are uh, available dyes that you can get if you want to pop your flowers and your leaves. And here is how gorgeous your flower will look when you finish. Now at the bottom of this packaging you will find a guide on which layer goes on top of which one for both the flowers and the leaves. But you really don't need to use all the layers if you don't want to. You will get perfect results either way. So for creating my card today I will be using my stamping platform by Tonic and uh, Tim Holtz and I will start by stamping the first layer. Now since this is a new stamp I always like to do that but sometimes I just don't show it on videos. I always like to rub my fingers on top of a solid stamp. This is going to help it to prime it and uh, it's going to stamp beautifully and you will see the result in a bit. So just because I'm trying to recreate that uh, pink uh, carnation flower, I will use the um, crisp dye ink uh, oval set, which is called Rose Petal. And uh, just because there are four layers for this uh, flower and there are four layers in this set, it's perfect for me. I don't have to think at all. And uh, as you can see, I like to keep them with a rubber band all together along with the swatch. So I'm going to place one on top of the other. So I start from the lighter and go all the way to the darker. So I'm placing them in order so I won't make any mistakes with the darker at the bottom and the lighter at the top. And I will start stamping all my layers. Now I'm uh, planning to create two different flowers. So I'm going to switch uh, the paper as I go and you will see what I mean. Now first I'm going to start with a lighter color and that's rose quartz. I'm going to close the door and you will see that I will get a perfect impression even though this is the first time I'm using the stamp. Just make sure to rub the stamp on your finger or on your palm. No splotches at all. I'm going to leave my stamp at the door, not moving it at all and I'm just going to turn the paper so I can stamp uh, this layer one more time. And I got the perfect impression again. Just remember to prep your stamps when they are solid before you go ahead and stamp. Now I am uh, moving to the second layer and uh, you don't have to fuss too much with the guide. They are quite loose and they will look uh, beautiful no matter where you put them. So I'm just going to place it there. This time I'm going to use a darker ink pad and that's Puffy Heart. And it's not going to look as much since this is just the second layer, but you will see how it's going to build up and how beautiful it's going to look after stamping the third layer. Now I'm going to switch to stamp uh, the other uh, flower. And with the magic of video editing, I did that too. So let's move on to the third layer. I'm just going to place it there. Again, I'm not following the guide or anything. Just go and close the door. And then I'm going to stamp with an even darker color and I used purple wine for the third layer. And you will see that once I uh, uh, stamp this, it's going to look beautiful. And um, I really, really love this collection of uh, Build a Flower by Altenew. I think they are perfect for uh, elegant cards. If you are not into cutesy, I think you should definitely check out the designs by Altenew. And here I am stamping the last layer. This is uh, the darkest of uh, my ink pads and it's called Cosmic Berry. And this is going to give that extra depth that uh, it's going to make this flower really stand out. Now I am going to stamp the leaves and there are only two layers for the leaves so for that I'm going to use ink pads from the green fields oval sets and uh, the lightest of the colors that I will be using is frayed leaf and the darkest is forest glades. And after having all my leaves ready I will go ahead and stamp a, a couple of filler flowers just with black ink. And I didn't use my stamping platform for, for that since these are only one layer stamps. And then I will move on and use the dies and cut it out with a new mini blossom die cutting machine. 
So here I am trying to place as many as I can. So with one passing, I can cut out more than one images. And you can see that I can fit four images here. And I will secure everything down with my post-it tape. So now let's make our sandwich, just the two cutting plates. And I have to turn my machine the other way around just because I am right-handed. And uh, I haven't pressed my machine down just because I want to move it. I don't want to push the suction feet down because I like to move it out of the way. So it passes through very uh, easy. It slides uh, as if it's uh, doing nothing. But you see that it has cut out everything. Now with the second passing, I'm going to cut out two more leaves and a flower. And of course you can press it down, it's going to lock nicely on its place. I just like to move it out of the way so you can see better what I'm doing. And uh, you see that everything has cut out perfectly fine. And now I'm going to pass uh, the cutting blades one more time to cut out the last flower. And I can move on working on my card. So I have this uh, light grey panel that uh, I am going to stamp the one of the sentiments included in the stamp set. And uh, it has beautiful sentiments. The one I decided to use is Your kindness melts my heart. I'm stamping it with black ink at the very bottom of this panel. And then I'm going to place all these flowers on top to create a little uh, uh, flower arrangement. But first, just because I have the Alte New alcohol markers, I want to add a touch of color on these uh, filler flowers. I'm not going to add too much, just a touch of gray on the leaves. And there are actually leaves for this uh, bigger filler flower, but uh, I'm going to add touches here and there. And one of the best things ever is that uh, the alcohol uh, markers of Altenew matches perfectly the colors of their ink pads. So I found um, the color that I used for the leaves and now uh, I will go and use a light pink color to add just a touch here and there on the flowers, just to break all that white space all over. And I'm going to play around with uh, my cutouts, just trying to decide where everything is going to go. I always like to play with my arrangements. Once you are happy with uh, the layout, then you can go ahead and commit with glue. Now for one of the flowers I'm using a new tape runner at the bottom, so this is going to lay flat. But for the second flower I'm going to add some foam squares at the back just to add a little bit of dimension. And these flowers are exactly the same, so make sure that you put them on an angle so they don't look uh, identical. And um, the dimension helps on that as well as adding another flower like those filler flowers in between them. So your flower composition is not going to look so repetitive. Flower stamp sets are my favorite. I think that uh, they make the perfect card really elegant and perfect for any occasion, depending on the sentiment that you are going to stamp. And just like this card, it's really versatile. So that was the card for today with those gorgeous carnation flowers. I hope I gave you some inspiration today and I hope you will check out the Alte New Build a Flower collection. They come up with a new released uh, stamp for this collection every month and they are all just gorgeous flowers. And make sure to visit my blog because there is a giveaway waiting for you from Alte New. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.